and welcome to Root Beer Library where you can wear your frothy stash. Today is episode 13 and we thought we would go Christmas. Actually today we are tasting frosty root beer. Let's go ahead and pop this top and get into it. Alright, so today we are tasting frosty root beer so I thought I'd get a little Christmassy on there because they got Santa on the label. Is that Santa? Yeah, it's basically Santa. Yeah, I'm going with Santa. So, I thought I'd wear this shirt with a little Snoopy in there at the same time. And joining us today is Mr. Potato Head, Spud himself, chiefed out Spud. Let's make sure we get that well in the picture. All about the Chiefs. Um, so anyway, a little bit about Frosty. They've been around since 1939. They've actually been kind of passed around um, to use a really bad, bad reference, especially today. You know, kind of like a stepchild. Um, don't take that wrong, please. No letters, all that other stuff. But basically, they've gone from distributor, 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 um, where they finally ended up with interstate distributors out of Detroit, Michigan, and have found a life for the Frosty line, because it's not just root beer, they got other sodas as well. But today, we get to taste the root beer. So I'm excited about that. Let's go ahead and open this up and get into it. So uh, again, traditional brown bottle, sticker label. I'd really like to see some painted on labels, just throwing that out there to distributors and so forth. I know this is cheaper, but you know, makes it much more of a collectible fun thing when it's painted on, because then we can hold on, because these peel off, kids get to them, I mean, it's just a mess. Um, this one's pretty cool. It's got the little you know Santa thing on there, a little Christmas action going on there. So, um, it's, well, it's not July, it's August. But hey, if it was July, we could do Christmas in July, but Christmas in August, whatever. Christmas, literally Christmas is in the stores now because it's August. So Halloween's sitting there, Thanksgiving's like there's one row and then there's like three rows of Christmas already out. So we're just, we're ahead of the game. That's how I roll. We're ahead of the, it's like 18 weeks till. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Good smell, good smell. That pour on there. Not as frothy and bubbly as others, of course. So on a scale of whatever scale we're doing that on, not very bubbly. Um, as far as color goes, you know, it's a decent caramely color. It's not as deep and dark as some of the others that we have tasted of, of rate of late. Let's give that a smell. Mm, it's got a pretty decent smell. Sugars, a little slower than some of the others. 40 grams here, most of them are 43 to 46, so a little bit less on the sugars there. Um, pure cane sugar, of course, that seems to be a norm these days. Smells really good. It's got a good good smell to it, very root beery-ish. Good flavor. Just a solid, solid good caney flavor. I uh, definitely taste the, the cane, you know, that's their sweetener. Um, maybe a touch of honey in there uh, somewhere, slightly. Uh, that's probably in the special ingredients. Um, but a good flavor, I mean, overall good flavor. I wish there was more froth with this. Um, I will say uh, in regards to root beer floats, definitely uh, a good root beer to go with root beer floats. Uh, vanilla, actually a mint it's actually pretty good with like a mint or a mint chip. This would definitely go well with that flavor. Uh, Christmas time, you could get the green mint with that. And just go all Christmassy on your root beer self. Um, so definitely uh, would work with some other flavors of ice cream and those, you know, as far as those palatey type flavors go. Um, the other thing as far as food goes. You know, this actually, because of the, the little bit of sweetness there, I know this is going to sound odd, but first thing that came to mind is like a nice barbecued shrimp that's got a nice crust with some pepper or a little little bit of spice. Not overly spicy shrimp, but a nice little, and then this probably would balance out and have some really good flavors in there. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking that's going to work. I would definitely try that. As far as we do thumbs up, thumbs down, and all that here on the show, in regards to this, uh, this is a thumbs up. It's not a solid super thumbs up, but it's definitely a thumbs up. 
enjoyed the flavor of this. It's It's got good flavor. It's got good smell. It's got good aroma right now. Yeah, it smells good. Got to remember to spit more often. Um, I'm going to do an episode on as to why I spit. Um, so look for that coming up. Overall, this is a thumbs up. It's a good root beer. It's a solid root beer. It's not great, but it's solid. Highly recommend it. And again, I would try it with some shrimp. I think that would be a good flavor category to go with this. So there you have it. Again, thank you for watching this episode, episode 13 of Root Beer Library, where you can wear your frothy stash. Don't forget to like and share and hit the bell down below so you know when we upload something new. And I just want to say, think before you drink. I know it's a soda, but if you have too much of it, the body isn't as happy. So I got to keep that in mind as I do these. So there you go. Think before you drink. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.